This video will cover fixing a saggy headliner. Start by removing the T-tops. Remove the A-pillar and snail panel trim. Unscrew the sun visors, or in my case, the delete plates. Remove the speaker cover. Unscrew the plastic trim underneath the hatch. Unplug the third taillight and separate the plastic seatbelt cover from the headliner. Remove the dome light. Pry up the clips that hold the headliner up and then lower the headliner. This headliner has seen better days. Start by peeling off the old fabric. Make sure to keep a small piece of the old fabric for color matching purposes Use a vacuum to remove the old foam backing. I went ahead and mixed up some epoxy resin. My headliner backing was definitely savable, so this step is to reinforce the fiber backing. If your headliner is very damaged, you may need to use fiberglass fabric to fix it. It's worth saving the stock headliner because the aftermarket versions don't quite fit right. I used a sanding block to knock down any high spots. As far as fabric, I chose a modern flat knit gray. Cut off any excess material. These will be used later for the speaker panels. Apply headliner glue to the backing and the fabric. Let it sit for 30 seconds and then pat down the fabric. And avoid getting glue on the good side of the fabric, it doesn't come off.
Wrap the fabric around the back side of the headliner backing. A roller helps with this application. The inside corners are the hardest part. In hindsight, it would have been better to make several small cuts and have the cuts wrap alongside the back versus the shallow cuts that I made. Cut out any areas such as the dome light or seat belt holes. Cut a split for the seat belt. Use any extra fabric to reupholster the speaker covers. Install the new clips to the headliner backing and then slowly maneuver the headliner into the interior. Start by looping the seat belts in, then pull back the panel plastic to fit over the headliner. Align and push in the clips at the front of the headliner Install the dome light. The new sheet metal nuts can be hammered in just like the originals. Screw in the sun visors, or in my case, the delete plates. Use a firm hit to install the seat belt plastic piece. Install the rear speaker covers. Reinstall the A-pillar and snail panel trim. Plug in the third brake light and reinstall the following plastics. This headliner turned out okay. It has a few blemishes and I messed up in a few spots, but I overall like the texture and look of this new fabric. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for updates on projects.